Hey guys, it's Sansri here and today we are going to discuss about epistasis. We all know what a gene is. A gene is a basic unit of hereditary that is passed on from parent to offspring. But what if another gene comes and changes the phenotype or the outcome of the original gene? Let's see what happens. Epistasis is nothing but the interaction of genes that are not alleles. In short, it describes the phenomena when one gene affects another gene. For example, there is a boxer who stands with a motive to do something and another boxer comes and punches him. Or if a girl is wearing a beautiful dress by a very common designer and another very rare designer comes and modifies the dress. Ooh la la, now, when she looks got hot. To know about what epistasis actually means when one gene locates, masks and modifies the phenotype of the second gene locus. Now let's come to some practical examples. First is albinism. Albinism is a lack of pigment resulting in pale white individuals. It occurs due to an entirely different gene than the genes which are responsible for skin color and tone. In short, if albinism gene is present, the organism will not have any pigment no matter what skin color is possessed by another gene. In a more practical sense, tyrosinase protein is responsible to produce melanin and a non-functional tyrosinase comes and the melanin production is stopped. Another very common example for epistasis is hair baldness. Here two biallelic genes are involved, one gene that determines the hair color. The two alleles influence the phenotype such that one allele gives red hair and the other gives blonde hair. Now, if there is biallelic gene coding for boldness, then one allele causes the bearer to be hairy and the other one causes the bearer to be bald. The process is basically that if the bald allele is present in the boldness loci, then this individual would carry bald allele and they, he would be bald. And if in the boldness loci the allele is hairy, then the expression of other gene hair color matters and therefore if the allele is blonde, the bearer has blonde hair and if the allele is red, the bearer has red hair. So now I hope that you get the concept of epistasis more clearer. See, epistasis is not a vague concept to be studied, it's a really wide concept. In today's era, it's really crucial as people are getting genetically smarter, it could be mentally, physically too, but when we are talking about genes, it's really crucial. As you know that there are a lot of instances like a girl named Veronica Theater has 20 times more complex vision than ours. Like you can see 1.6 kilometers far and she can identify the people. Isn't that suspicious? I think she has a camera in her eyes, but it's true. Yeah. Have instances are there and we need to focus more about this concept. These are like everyday things which we ignore and thus we need to study this concept more nicely. So thanks for watching and please give us a thumbs up. I hope you like it and respect at these spaces. <laughs> Thank you.